hopefully you can hear me. We are live at Ender Draw again. Oh, by the way, so don't worry, if you see you're on camera yet, mate. Um, but we're here for the home game PSC Glasgow at home to Cumbernauld Colts. And you might know already, I've got special guests in it, so I'll let the song play in the car park over. We've well, actually got name tags below us as well, we're on camera now, by the way. Please do not swear. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, TC, how you doing? Can you hold us up to your mouth, by the way? I'm brilliant, Moz. I'm delighted to be here to uh, run the rule over two of the two of the best sides in the Lowland League this evening. We'll take that as long as we're number one, obviously. Absolutely, of course, BSC are number one. And I've been asked to say before we get started, it's been a bit of rumours going about about your replacement, Daz. Daz, Any words well, for that, that, was a, that was a good bit of agency work for me there. <laughs> uh, getting one of my old teammates from B Juniors back... Uh, um, so yeah, I think he is a great addition for BSC for a team that probably did need another forward to yep. supplement the squad and uh, I hope to see a couple of goals from him tonight but he's, he's a real threat and, and I think he'll show that to everyone here. Well, he's been brilliant the first couple of games hasn't he folks if you've been um, But aye, we're only what, a couple of minutes or so away for kickoff. I haven't actually seen the referee yet so I hope we're a couple of minutes away for kickoff. I hope he's here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> but uh, what we'll do, we'll show you the starting lineups just now folks, uh, just while I get that up. So, if this works, you should now see it. There we go. Uh, BSC are almost unchanged. You'll notice that uh, Jamie Hamilton made a return for last weekend. They came off the bench at half-time. Um, sorry, guys, you can go by. The ca we're not on the camera now. Uh, Davey Wilson keeps his place and go after a, a cracking debut. How are you looking forward to seeing TC? Uh, uh, as we spoke about, obviously, as Chris, they're looking forward to seeing him. Um, I think the goalkeeping replacement. Interested to see how he gets on tonight. Obviously, Ryan Marshall was a was a great goalkeeper for BSC over the years. So I'm um, hoping to see a, a, a strong performance from him. Um, players like uh, Jamie Hamilton. He, he's the type of person that you come to football matches to watch. He's great technically. He can find a pass and hopefully he can find the centre forwards tonight. Fingers crossed for us. I'm still looking at camera even though I'm not on it. Too much uh, Aye, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Andy Gagan will fancy his chances against anyone in that centre midfield Certainly. there. Um, other thing we'll do just before we get this show on the road, we'll show you the table after last night's games. Because uh, there was quite a few games midweek, um, including ourselves tonight. Kelty have gone top of the league, but they're level with the likes of Bonus, East Kilbride. Uh, we are one behind because we had a draw away to Civil. But aye, the kind of top 10 are all starting pretty strongly. Um, there's kind of two different leagues forming at the minute. Uh, Colts are kind of heading the, the bottom group, so to speak, and they'll be probably thinking they're better than where they're sitting in the league, isn't it? Absolutely, Moza. The Colts are uh, probably a, a mid-table team within the Lowland League, but they always give the top teams a proper game, and that's why Aye. I think it'll be a big test for BSC tonight. If we reflect back on last season, we saw BSC drop points away to Cumbernauld Colts in the third uh, third game week of the season and actually those were bad points for us to drop because you noticed early on that we slipped a little bit below those teams and, and to lose those points early on is problematic so hopefully BSC don't find that problem tonight. It's a very high line from Colts. If we can get a ball round the back there that would leave a lot of space for a late run from the likes of Fitzpatrick or McCormack. I think he's crossing rather than shooting here then. I would hope so. And it's a bit of both, but it's going to go for a corner. I think he was taking a pop there. I would agree with that, Moza. Probably not Dick's finest effort. <laughs> Sounded like his boots were just straight out the freezer, but we'll let him off. Right, Daz Christie now. He's going to play on. It looked a handball, but BSC on the attack. Andy Gagan. Jamie Hamill just came deep to get this one. Finds a pass through for Tierney. Oh, and he's found a side then. That's a cracking ball through for Jamie Hamilton. That's absolutely what I was talking about before the game. Jamie Hamilton has got that knack of finding killer passes. I must say I was impressed with Ryan Tierney's run there. Yeah. Is this going to be a counter-attack chance? It is. Christie's got, his, got the pace on the left back. And that's Jamie Hamilton busting a gut to get in the middle. Can Christie find him? Not it's a quite. great delivery from Christie. Jamie Mills squares it back. Andy Gagan. Inside, Tierney's great touch from Ryan Tierney. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. He's taken the ball in magnificently well there. It's a great move from BSC after they win the ball back, Moza. Daz Christie shows his pace, puts a great cross in. They're unlucky not to get a man on the end of it, and it culminates in, in a second-phase penalty. So what do we think here, Moza? I'm thinking it was a penalty, definitely, and I'm hoping the deck does what he does best and sticks away. Daily News. 
side foot. Easy as that, and it's BSC Glasgow 1, Cumbernauld Colts 0. Great penalty from Deck. As I said, a great move for BSC to get there. Ryan Tierney takes the ball in very well in a tight space again. Um, and if he can continue to do that, he'll get goals himself and he'll continue to draw fouls in the box. As BSC break now, does Christy on the right, squares his man up, runs with pace, now looking to feed. A few nice wee touches, goes back out to Lewis Bell in the overlap. Ball in. Tierney! Yes! BSC 2, Cumberland Colts now. Brilliant ball in. Great play again. Daz Christie has tortured their defence so far tonight. He's taken it past them a couple of times. This occasion he decides to turn back and I think it's a great decision because his cross was only going to hit the defender. He's picked out Lewis Bell behind him and what a cross that is. And a great header from Ryan Tierney. Ref on the take. I cannot comment on those kind of comments. <laughs> As the ball comes in, it's a loopy one to the back post. And, oh, it's come off came off the Colts striker in the end. It was goal bound. Very fortunate that that bounced off the, the Colts centre forward there. I think that might have been heading for the bottom corner. I hope the, last, uh, the rest of the listeners are looking on my performance more positively. <laughs> it's another Jamie great Allen's cross. Oh, it's a glorious chance. Another brilliant ball for Daz Christie there. He's got to finish it. Andy Gegen goes out to the right again. Here goes Bell once more. Let's get Christie with him. Just give him it. <laughs> He's gone himself. Here's Christie inside. Tierney can tee up Hamilton. One touch. He's gone on the outside. He's on. Cut back on his right hook. Thought he was going to shoot on his left. The ref stops Anderson shooting. And it's going to be a throw in rather than a corner, but good attacking play, good it, patient play. Yeah, exactly, Mozzie. He took the word out of my mouth. It's good patient play. Lewis Bell uses Daz Christie wide as a as a decoy. And they're on the attack again, Mozzie. Anderson in. Gagan was there, but it's well cleared. Comes back to Jamie Hamilton. Looks for the way through ball. Almost finds it to Jamie Mills, who again will have a nosebleed being that far up the pitch. And he's got it. Jamie drives down the left. And wins the corner. Find a good balance, Will. It's a ball in. There's Gagan at back post. Oh, what a goal! Andy Gagan with a stunner. I haven't seen a volley like that since last season when Ross Smith done a similar thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we've not heard the end of it since. But this one has topped it. What a strike from the man that I've just been praising. But now Jamie Hamilton looks to start a break. Dance Christie. Feeds Lewis Bell, and Lewis Bell's going to get that. He's got a chance to shoot. Oh, and the keeper wasn't he too confident, but he's done her off. Great combination play from Christie and Bell again down the right hand side. They are going to be giving these. Goals. Sean Spedden, welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. Kelty's man on the, the microphone now. As the ball goes down the right, Lewis Great Bell. Running. I looked at a handball, but he's holding his face, the classic. That's Billy Mortimer. <laughs> I've got a shout out Stephen Taylor from the stands. Unless you're meaning our penalty, I in which B case I, I think BSC will have something intricate lined up here. Swifty's always got. There yeah! We go. yeah. I, 4 0. It wasn't as intri intricate as I, as I had perhaps alluded to, but it's effective nonetheless. <laughs> Ball in, and Jamie McCormack was the man there to nod at home. BSC Glasgow, four Cumbernauld Colts now, and it has been the perfect first half. In, in, in my season with the club, uh, we had a great performance at home at the Braves, in which we blew them away in the first half, but I thought that was a superb first half from BSC. Colts weren't really in the game at all. They created a couple of half chances, but BSC had plenty of chances, controlled the game on and off the ball, and uh, yeah, we're just fully on top of the game. And it seems like you guys enjoyed it as well. So thanks for being in. And um, you notice a couple of bodies going back and forth. Just one of these things at half time. Uh, but aye, so far so good. And defence hasn't really been troubled. But I think it's mainly the attacking players that have shown tonight. The attacking players have obviously shown tonight. They're, they're going to be the, the ones that naturally shine when you're 4-0 up at half time. But I, I, I would like to compliment the BSC Glasgow shape. Um, I think that is the reason as to why we've not seen Cumbernauld Colts be able to build and, and create moves in the final third. 
Um, the only chances they've had have really been from, uh, I'm getting a smile from Ross Lindsay there, he's glad <laughs> to see me, um, have only really been from set pieces. So, yeah, I expect that pattern to continue in the second half. Swift, they'll be on top of the boys, who will congratulate them and be proud of them for a good first half performance. But if we're looking for BSC to put down a marker, go and get a couple more goals, ensure a clean sheet and really say to the top teams in the league, we are here, we're here again yeah. and, and we're going to fight at the top again. Are you folks, we're back on. Players are just slowly but surely making their way in the pitch. <laughs> that uh, for anyone wondering what that strange noise was tackle. in the background, it was Lynn Glenn, the physio. Great so woman. Uh, she's aye, saying this aye. is what a winning team looks like. Um, yep, very impressive. Yeah, we jabbed. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to give a jibe back. <laughs> not to a physio. Looks like Andy Gagan Andy going Gagan's off. Andy Gagan's just decided that after a volley like that, he's not required <laughs> in the second half, and that is exactly the attitude that I like to see. They've brought Grant out to the left side to try and deal with Christie, um, which they they very much failed to do so. And Christie's now popped up in the middle, Hamilton. Tries to, oh, he's held the ball really well. Has a pop, not far away. Good close control again for Jamie doing what he does, does best. Yeah, he's done well there. I don't think that's the best decision to shoot from there. It's the kind of decision you see it 4 0 up. Um, and you may well hear that because he's no shy. No, he yeah, certainly has not. He's not been here long, but oh, what he's on side. Jamie Hamilton with an outstanding through ball there. No look as well. Gets it back for Tierney. Shapes up. Finds McBrayer to exchange his passes. And it's just stopped at the last. Jamie's making all the play happen just now. Yeah, great combination play there. McBriarty, he's been a good addition this second half. As Tierney follows McBriarty's pass, keeps it in. Looks for a ball across. I could have gone to McBriarty, but Mikey Anderson will pick it up. It's opened oh. up for him, but he's not caught it. He's pulled it. And not one of Michael's most prominent strengths is his shooting from 25 yards. And I think that was a good showcasing of it there, Mozart. <laughs> Another chance here. And it looks like Daz is standing over it with Declan. I can't say I ever remember Daz Christie scoring a free kick from 25 yards. Got a comment in there. Signed McNabbin, football manager, and he was pish, apparently. As Christie takes it. And that is Ooh. why. <laughs> <laughs> Astute observations there from Stick TC. Stick to one-on-ones, Daz. <laughs> <laughs> Running the rule over his replacement here. <laughs> Much appreciated, guys. Thank you. Yeah, must echo that from Moz. It's great to see people donating uh, if you possibly can. Keep them coming. And that is a great save. Wilson on the reaction save as it broke through. And just a minute into injury time, the referee has decided to bring this game to a close. And it was all plain sailing in the end. Uh, all the hard work done in the first half for BSC. Four goals, a nice work well done, another clean sheet, and a pretty impressive performance. Yeah, I think when we reflect on the performance, the gaffer's got to be delighted with it. I'm getting another smile from Jamie McCormack. My, <laughs> ma my man of the match tonight, he's throwing his dirty socks at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's wanting his socks back someday we'll need to pick them up for him because I certainly won't be but I, th <laughs> I think I think the gaffer will be reflecting on what was a, a really strong performance for BSC um, before the match would he have been expecting to win 4-0 and all, go all four goals win the first half no he wouldn't have been so overall he's got to be delighted with it Aye. and it wasn't it just him to a man I think everyone on the pitch had a role to play and they played really well um, right, Tom's just Passing a dirty sock back to McCormack. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, we did this last week with Jonathan, so I'm going to give you man in the match responsibilities. Who's your Who's your man? I was really impressed with Andy Gigg in the first half. Obviously, his game stopped then, so I think I've got to go for McCormack. Uh, another strong performance from him. Um, the important thing for BSC in the second half is to come out and get a clean sheet. But a uh, 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 shout out for Jamie Hamilton as well. I thought he sh played some great incisive passes in behind the defence. Um, and he had a great performance. But let's go for McCormack. The two I would have said as well. I think you could have gone either way, could you? As Ross Lindsay tries to put his name in the conversation. But yes, I he showed great pace at a couple of times, Ross Lindsay. But <laughs> He's appreciating those comments, clearly. Yes. But uh, aye, other than that, kind of 
was there anything else that really caught your eye tonight that you weren't expecting or any of the new boys? Uh, out the new boys, obviously I'm looking at the strikers. I, I really liked Ryan Tierney. Um, I thought he performed very well. He's a different forward to the kinds of forwards that we had last yep. season. Um, probably not as mobile, but he showed some great quality. Um, he won a penalty for the first goal and he scored a great header for the second and at other times he brought other players into play which was really positive uh, I thought the, the young goalkeeper was was a was a really good performance from him um, strong performance made saves when he had to distributed the ball calmly which is really important in this league and, and, and actually we didn't really miss Ryan Marshall tonight so that's a very positive note for, for the young goalkeeper Yeah and how do you think obviously you played in this league last year and um, you know it well how do you think it's going to be affected with the schedule now being a pretty curtailed? So there's a plenty of school for midweek games, and um, it's going to be a pretty tough schedule for these guys. Tough schedule for for the players. Um, obviously, what becomes important then is the size of your squad. Yeah, and I think that BSC's squad has actually got m- more consistent quality than it did last season. I think we missed missed a wee bit of quality at times when we got some injuries last season, and that's maybe why we didn't quite compete just at the last embers of the season before the, the shutdown with the likes of Kelty um, and Bonnie Rig. But I, th- I think I think we really can compete with them this year and, and with the likes of East Kilbride as well. Um, so hopefully the guys can get on a roll when there's plenty of fixtures, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. It's about getting on a roll and gathering momentum. And hopefully the guys can do that and they seem to have a wee bit of momentum just now. Well, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the, the gaffer is approaching. There he is. So... Just beforehand, I will say a big thank you to this man here, just in case he's not getting back on to spend how long the gaffer takes and how dark it's going to get here. So, I hope you enjoyed it. It's been it. a Thanks pleasure, Moja. I've really along. enjoyed it. Enjoyed what was a great game of football. Would I like to see more goals in the second half, as I've already said, but a great performance from BSC, and I'm, I'm sure this man will be delighted with it. Tell the watch, here's the gaffer, Stephen Swift, coming in. I'll let you do a wee microphone switch. Pretty good evening, all things told there. Um, I am, I'm pleased. I think the first half we, we kind of blew them away. We were, were energy, we were movement, the rotation in midfield. Um, and just re- really pleased with how we went about our business. Second half is difficult. You're 4-0. It's a mindset where, you, you know, they, they've changed things. They're trying not to get... They're trying to limit the, the damage, basically, yep. that was done in the first half. But... Um, I can't really complain. If you told me at the start of the night we'd come here and win 4-0, then I'd have uh, I'd, uh, bit your hand off. Yeah, and uh, as you say, blowing them away the first half, it just seemed that everything was just on song for the word go, and unlike the last couple of games that we've, we've been at, we were the ones in the front foot and really making the play at the very early stages. Yeah, I think y- you've got to realise that, that this team is evolving, you know. I mean, we've lost some big players regards to in an attacking sense, like Thomas Orr, Thomas Collins, Big Paolo, um, and obviously we're still waiting and Skip coming back, Smudge, um, Marsh, the goalkeeper, it's a huge chunk of the team, yep. and and the fact that these boys are, the, sa- the standards that I'm looking for to kind of continue what that team had, had left, it, it shows that they're, they're listening and they're, they're trying to do the, th- the stuff we're telling them, so well, we're, on, we're in a good place, I think um, we're, we'll be in a good place in the league position, and uh, that mate, that's a great incentive to move on to Berwick on Saturday. Mm. And Jamie Hamilton came back to the starting 11 the night and had an absolute stormer, he was right up there for potential man in the match. I think mm. I ended up going to McCormack thanks to TC there, but right. um, crank performance going forward for the wee man. Aye, um, Jamie, we know, I mean, we, we, he came back for a groin strain last week and we thought the pitch at Gretna, it might have um, maybe aggravated it yeah. a wee bit. So we thought we had tonight in our mind because we know we can play in that number 10 and try to get him in between the lines, especially on a good pitch at Aloha, um, would have suited him more. So, it's worked out well um, because the first half I thought his rotation and his play with Darren Christie and trying to release him and Ryan Tierney's hold up play that the combination with A three was unbelievable um, and there was solid solid three behind him with, with Michael Anderson, Declan Hughes and, and Giggs. So all in all, it's a great night um, and we're really pleased. Thank you. Well, I'll let you get back to it. So Brilliant. thanks again for giving us some of your time and no hopefully catch up on Saturday. And the yeah. same kind of three pain. points. That's hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> And again, thanks to all you guys for watching as well. Um, I've said it before, but you're far too generous to us. Every single penny donated tonight will go straight to the club. So it's much, much appreciated, especially in the times we're in. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Join us again on Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff for the visit of Berwick Rangers. And 
other than that, just see you later. And thanks to TC for being on. Catch you.